Okay, welcome back to a new video. Um, as you know, I have not covered any Matplotlib tutorial since long, and there's one video which is still on my list also since long, and I was thinking maybe now it's the time to, to also continue with that, because this is one thing which also some people asked. So I think it, it's maybe interesting also for, for the rest. Um, it's actually um, a way how to plot two plots in one canvas and also arranging the axis according to that. Yeah, this is a little bit tricky, especially when also if, if you want to insert the legend. So this I'm going to explain now. So um, yeah, uh, for, for that purpose, I prepared a file. Yeah, there's uh, in, in Linux, there's a speed test program, which you can run, and then it uh, gives you out the download and the upload rate, and also the ping. And uh, in addition, I also wrote out the time. So you can see after every 10 second, um, I, I made a measurement, wrote it out into this text file, then restarted the measurement and so on. Yeah? So now we will pass this file similar to what I have done in the previous video. So if you are unfamiliar with that, then also you can go back to the previous video, which I make. And um, then after that, we will plot it and two values we want to plot. And I think maybe the download and the ping together would be nice. Okay, so now we create, of course, first a new file, a Python file, and this we call maybe just uh, plot uh, pi. And then, as usual, um, we first start with um, import matplotlib uh, dot pyplot um, splt as we are normally doing it. And because we are dealing with times here, timings, so we have to also insert a package from daytime uh, a package uh, called daytime. Yeah? This is very important, otherwise uh, it, we can only handle this as strings and this will be then really problematic. Okay, then in the next step, we want to open our text file. So we will do this exactly how we are normally doing that. We write F open and then in uh, yeah in uh, quotation in quotation marks or single quotations uh, speed dot txt. I'm sorry, there's just an airplane uh, very close to this building, so it's a little bit loud, maybe. Um, yeah, and then, of course, we want to plot, as I said, uh, download and ping. So we have to create a few arrays. One we call maybe speeds, um, and this should be empty. So we can <clears throat> just put uh, rectangular brackets here. Uh, then we want to, uh, sorry, we want to create an uh, a list uh, called pings uh, because we want to plot also the pings and uh, the times should be on the x-axis so speeds and pings we want to plot on the y-axis and times on the x-axis and then we can uh, yeah and then we can actually directly start uh, um, so we loop over all the lines in our code uh, so we do this exactly how we have also done it in the last video and then we check if, for example, the value time is included. And uh, if this is the case, yeah, then every time when it finds time th throughout the looping over this file, um, yeah, we can, for example, in the beginning, uh, just print it out to check whether it, it works fine. And uh, when we run this program, yeah, you can see that now here in the terminal, you see all the times. Okay. Um, but this is of course not what we uh, not what we want. We want to convert this, as I said. So what we have to write here, we have to first remove this time in front. So we have to uh, split this string accordingly, and uh, we have to remove this time. And uh, then in the next step, we can uh, take then this uh, the right part, the first. Um, the first item of our list that we create here. And uh, this we then can, in principle, we can directly convert that. So we can write here time uh, st uh, date time dot strp time. This is the function that we want to use now. Uh, and then we write here line one. This is the string that we want to convert. And then again, in single quotation, uh, there is a space here. Uh, uh, which which I would like to cover in this way. So we have to make a space here and then percentage H for hour, colon, percentage M for minute, uh, colon, uh, sorry, colon, 
percentage s for second and it also ends with a new line so we have to write here backslash n and now we can check whether it worked so we can write print time and we can run the code yeah and you see now we have 10 lines with uh, yeah the date is not so much important here in this case but the time is important because this is what we will plot later so uh, matplotlib will automatically arrange the uh, x-axis according to the change in time yeah because the date is constant in this case yeah and then the only thing which we have to do we have to append this to our array that we have created here of course and now we have um, the values for our x-axis already and the same thing we can also do of course for the y-axis so we can write here if download in line, I'm doing this a little bit slow because it's also good practice, I think, and good to explain what one has to do. Yeah. So um, here, um, yeah, again, we can we can just print here the line one time to see whether this is also correct, and it shows here the right output value. And you see on the left side there is download column, and on the right side m bit per second, which we have to remove. So in this case, uh, we can write here line equal line dot split um, and then we want to remove download uh, colon and then we take um, from that the left uh, the right value sorry and then we again split that and remove m bit per second and yeah and then we convert this uh, into into the speed by just saying that uh, this should be a float value yeah so we convert the string which we have into a float and this is in this case the left part here uh, this this part here okay um, and then we can also test whether it worked and we can write here speed and when we run the program you will see that uh, there is a mistake which I have made because here should be line yeah and now you can see here is our download speed uh, only the float numbers yeah and now uh, the last thing we have to do again of course uh, speeds dot append and then we have to put our value speed into that and now we can test this already by plotting this so we can uh, we can write here for example plt dot plot uh, times and speeds and then we could maybe uh, show that to see how it looks like and when we run this program yeah you see here on the left side we have our download speed and here we have our time yeah automatically arranged as i said um okay uh this is one thing of course this is very nice to do that and now as i said we also want to plot another plot in in this so maybe the the um, ping would be nice so we can write here if ping uh i think it's capital yes if ping in line exists then and this i will do now a little bit faster then line should be uh, split again uh, ping should be removed and then in the next step we say line equal line and then again the right part we will use and we will remove here millisecond this is the unit and then we say uh, ping is equal to float line zero similar to what we have done before and then again to check whether it worked we print out our ping and if i didn't do any mistake now uh, of course there is a mistake it should be not plot but split and now uh, the ping is written out here so this also worked very well and now we can see when we plot this in the same plot just to show what what happens then um, then you will see that um, uh, sorry pings and here we have to also append our ping to the list pings and now you will see both are plotted here very well of course uh, here download and here the ping but it doesn't make so much sense because uh, the ping is, has very small values the download the very large one so the y-axis does not match you can of course scale this artificially but then uh, you will run into other problems so the best thing is of course to um, find a way how to plot a second y-axis on the right side yeah and for that purpose we do the following first we have to get the axis from that yeah so as i have also explained already in one of the previous videos we can write ax um, plt.gca yeah? uh, get current axis 
So we have the axis of, of the plot that we created here. Yeah. Actually, uh, we could also do that even before. Yeah. And uh, then, then it gets easy. Now we can say here ax.plot. And um, then we can also uh, create a second one, ax2. And here we write ax dot uh, twin x. So this function twin x actually makes a copy of the x axis here and uh, creates a second plot which is sharing the same x axis. So we can write now um, ax2 plot times pings and plt show. This does not change in principle. Now you can see in principle um, it, it works very well. Yeah, we have here on the left side again the download speed. On the right side you see the ping automatically adjusted. And we have two plots here which have, which have the same color, which is, of course, uh, not so much beneficial, I think. Yeah? So the first thing which I would like to do, as usual, I would like to create a special figure here, plt.figure. Uh, um, this time I will not change the, um, the size, but later what is important here is that we want to use our tight layout to make sure that all the access labels are later fitting. Okay. Uh, then first, of course, I would like to change the color. Yeah. So let's suppose the first one we can make uh, in blue and the second one we can make in uh, red. And now let's check whether it worked actually. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. So um, uh, there's no problem. Then we can also label that already. So we said this is actually the download speed. And this, uh, we said, should be uh, the ping. And now, um, yeah, it does not change anything, of course, because the legend is not included. But this we will do at the end. Yeah? The first thing which I would like to do is uh, maybe set to some titles. Yeah? So we can say, for example, AX, um, AX, set title. Whether it is AX or AX2 doesn't matter. Uh, the most important thing is that this function is one time called. Yeah? So ax set title. And then maybe we can write here speed ping. Yeah? So um, we want to make sure that the person who sees this plot automatically knows what is plotted here. And um, then also we can set uh, the x label, the, the title of our x axis actually. And this is, um, this is the time. Yeah, and then we can also set the Y label. And this is uh, of our first plot, AX. It's just the download speed uh, in M, M bit per second, if I'm not wrong. And then we can also set the Y label of our um, second plot that we created. And this is the ping in millisecond now and now we can run the plot we can open the uh, run the file and see the plot and i think it looks already uh, very neat and clean so um, then i also uh, in principle everything is now done but maybe um, you want to know which plot refers to which axis so there are two possibilities either you color the axis accordingly which i have also done several times or you add a legend yeah? and we have already labeled these two plots so adding a legend i think would be now no problem however you cannot do this in the same way how we have done it in the past because now we have two separate plots actually two separate plots shown in one canvas in one figure so what we have to do we first have to get handle of our labels that we create and then plot that so it's in principle the same what we have done before but a little bit more tricky so what we can write here is lines labels and then ax dot get legend handles labels um, and uh, yeah, the same we also have to do for the second one. So we can copy that here. Yeah, um, this I also didn't know before. I had to actually Google that and uh, one has to just memorize it. Yeah, There is not any clear logic behind this, I think, but just this way how to do this, you have to do once and then you can copy paste it from previous uh, plots scripts that you have written. Yeah, and then you have to write here ax2.legend and then you have to write lines dot li uh, plus lines two, labels plus 
labels too. Yeah, and now you can actually run that. And if nothing goes wrong, then you see here the plot uh, in combination with all the axes, titles, labels, and so on. And of course, we can also um, uh, we can uh, save that. Um, um, yeah, just to show it also here in our program, uh, as we have also done it before. Yeah, so we can then actually zoom in this and uh, have a little bit closer look. Um, yeah, okay. So this this works very well. Now you know how to create uh, yeah an overlay of two plots. This also works with more. You can also plot two, three, four. Yeah. Then you have to add every time a new axis, which you have to manually adjust. This gets a little bit tricky, but actually it, it works in the same way how we have also done it now. And maybe if you want to learn it a little bit more and you want to try it, you can try that. And if you stuck somewhere, then uh, yeah, in uh, Stack Overflow you can find a lot of help, and or you can Google it. Yeah. So there's no no problem. Maybe I can also make another video about this if I have time one day. Uh, but in principle, as I said, it's very simple, and I think this is um, a very nice feature that you have uh, in Python. And then maybe I can also show in another video how you can make subplots and plot several plots uh, next to each other yeah, in, in one figure. Okay, uh, but with this I want to stop here. I hope that you, that you found it beneficial, that you learned something new. And uh, if you like the video, then as usual, please hit the like button. Please subscribe my channel if you have not done so far. And hopefully see you back very soon for a new video.